Hello everyone, this is the second part of tutorial about creating crafting system and uh, let's start. First thing we need to do is uh, we need to be able to show this widget and hide this widget. It should not be always visible on the screen, so in my case in user interface component I will uh, <coughs> create a new function called show uh, craft widget and uh, it will get main hut called setup craft widget with some craft place. So craft place should be a parameter of show craft widget here. So just plug it here. And after setup we should add a new function in main hut widget. In my case in main hut, in your case it may be called some something else. So let's create a new function and call it show craft widget. Also, let's give it a category craft and move uh, setup craft widget also into this category. Show craft widget will have an input of boolean type called show. And let's check. Uh, let's uh, select on boolean. And uh, get uh, our craft items list and set visibility. Uh, function and we're selecting visibility. So if show is true, then it is visible, if false, it is hidden. That's it. Now on uh, my user interface component after setupping I will also call show craft widget and show will also be a parameter here. Now we need to show oh, let's hide it by default so let's open main HUD select it select uh, craft items list and here in uh, visibility let's make it hidden so it will not be visible. Now let's add an input. So let's open, uh, in my case, it is located here. And uh, I'm using new Unreal 5 input action system. If you don't, then you go to settings, project settings, and here you will find uh, an input. Okay, in my case I'm creating a new input action, calling it input action, open craft window. It is, uh, it has default values and I'm, not, I'm adding it into a mapping context. So let's edit input action, open craft window. And let's sign a button. It will be uh, yeah, it will be Q. Oh no, maybe it will be okay. It will be Q for now. I will change it later if I will need it. Okay, now back to craft component, event graph, and let's add uh, this input action here. So input action open craft window here we need to access our my user interface component so i will in begin play the place where i am getting a character and promoting to variable i will get component by class and it will be craft component oh not a craft user interface user interface component and promote it to variable user interface component plug it here so here in open craft window i'm getting a user interface component and on start it i'm calling show craft widget And uh, toggling show and craft place is base by default. 
and what do we need to do is we need to define if uh, it is already shown or not and the user can uh, hide this widget for example entering uh, uh, entering escape button or receptor so uh, we need to be able to ask uh, user widget component about uh, is widget currently displayed so let's open user interface component and uh, i have a enum already called widget type and here i have a hot widget interaction widget and let's add uh, for example craft widget building widget inventory and acceptor now in user interface component i will have an array of displayed widgets so uh, displayed widgets and it will be widget type and it will be an array by default it has nothing maybe hot but uh, okay but next I have a function called show main cut, show uh, resources to build, show craft and acceptor. So on show craft widget we're getting displayed widget. Also it should be not be an array, it should be a set. And displayed widgets, we're getting it and adding uh, another set, add Um, craft widget and we should add it if show is true so let's select branch true and show if show is true then we're adding this widget here if false then we are removing this so remove um, craft I will do the same for every widget uh, later and will not show it in a video. And let's make a new function called is widget shown. Oops, it should be lowercase. Input will be a widget type. Widget type. And output will be um, boolean uh, is shown. And we will return if displayed widget contains this widget type. If contains, then we're returning true. If not, then we're returning false. So just plug in it here. Great. Okay, and uh, now back to a craft component here. Here we will get call this function user interface component. Let's is widget shown. Also, let's make it pure function like this. Is widget shown and craft widget. And here on the show we will call not an opposite of its current its current shown state, so that we will be able to show it and close it. Now <coughs> let's start. Uh, let's test it out. Q button, Q button, Q button, Q button. So it's shown, it's hidden. Also this way. Uh, this way I can also create, for example, if I have a Q button also assigned for uh, rotate in a building, I will add some conditions here, but now they are not needed. Um, great. Then we have to show a cursor when we're, when a widget is visible. So again, in my user interface component, I will create a new function called update cursor visibility. And now, um, what we need to do is uh, let's create a new variable called widgets with 
with cursor and it will be widget type of type array and by default it will be inventory craft widget building widget okay then if displayed also it will be a set you don't need to be an array also then we are getting displayed widget and making an intersection intersection means that means what it is so uh, if some values from uh, widget with cursor intersects with displayed widget it will return this intersection now if this intersection is empty then we don't show a cursor if it is not empty if one of the widgets in the widgets with cursor is shown then we're showing uh, a cursor so let's call show cursor in my case uh, if you don't know how it works it just calls get player controller and calls show mouse cursor that's it also we change a game mode and when we are showing the cursor it is a uh, game and ui and uh, if we are hiding cursor it is game only next now we need to update cursor visibility on showcraft widget after all of that let's move it here let's make a sequence like this or maybe we can something somehow bind it i don't know um blueprint mm -hmm. expose is private no unfortunately no way to bind it and now uh, i think we will not do this like this we will create a new function and call it add item to now add displayed widget and here we are getting displayed widget calling add not this add this add and passing it as parameter here and making it a pure function and the same uh, okay and let's edit a category like displayment and let's duplicate it and call it remove displayed widget also as a new item and here we're calling remove And after two of these functions, we will call update cursor visibility. So we will not need to do it in every function, we will do it only here. Like this. And in uh, Showcraft widget, we will not add uh, it like here. We will call it by calling. Oh no, uh, it should not be a pure function, by the way. It should be a displayed widget here. And why I can select new item? Mm. Pass by reference? No. And in remove displayed widget, also remove pass by reference. And here I will select uh, craft widget. And here I will call remove displayed widget. And it will be craft widget. That's it. Uh, now let's test it. Thank you and the cursor is shown. Hide, and the cursor is still shown. Not good, by the way. And uh, let's open back a user interface component. I think that somewhere here, intersection, show cursor is always true. Widget with cursor, displayed widget. Okay. By the way, my widgets with cursor is empty because I've changed the type. Yes, and let's plus here craft widget, not interaction, building widget, inventory. Okay, 
Okay, hidden, shown. Yes, by the way, it looks like in, uh, in here, in intersection, result for intersection set A, B is result will contain. Oh, yes, a knot is empty, not boolean, because we are showing it when it is not empty. Now let's start. Q and cursor is shown, Q and the cursor is shown. Okay, that's all. That's how we can show hide the widget and uh, show hide the cursor with it. Thanks for watching.